Welcome, my name is Colleen Toki and I'm the sewing specialist at Bonds & Porter. In this Quilt & Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit about the construction for the, the three Christmas stockings called Merry and Bright. Okay, we're going to be working with uh, a very uh, non-traditional kind of uh, floral dot stripe fun Christmas prints in two and a half inch wide pre-cuts. And we're going to be able to create three different Christmas stockings, two of which you see behind me. Now the first stocking is what we call a Bargello style um, piecing. And I have a, a portion of it constructed here. What you would do is take three uh, or four, five to start, I guess, five in a strip, uh, select five different prints out of your pre-cuts, create strip sets. I've got just a portion of one here. And you will see that we're going to, you would be then cutting, according to your pattern instructions, the narrow strips off of this. And then those narrow stri strips, you would see, if I lay this over beside it, you'll see the, the pattern of the five and then it repeats and it creates that wonderful zig subtle zigzag through there uh, just by the placement of those narrow strips. You'll want to um, use the pattern for the width of the strips, how many to cut, and how to arrange them to create the front of the Bargello style Christmas stocking behind me. Now if you'd like to purchase this pattern you can visit our website and you can order it that way. The second stocking you see behind me is also made with strip sets. I've got a portion of this stocking ready here. And you'll see there's almost kind of an argyling effect or striping effect of those from those. You're going to use five pieces again in strip set formation. You're going to cut off sections that are two and a half inch wide that will then create the squares that you see here. And you will see if I line this up. Pieces come off of here. There is the repeat. And then again, follow the pattern instructions. The, the graphics for these are excellent. So I'll tell you how many, uh, in the directions, how many strips to cut, how to space them, to arrange them in order to cut out the Christmas stocking shape that you see behind me. Okay, we've addressed those two. Now the third one is the one here on the sewing center, and it is um, string pieced. Now this is what your pieces of your template are going to look like in your pattern. So you would probably want to photocopy this, make sure that it doesn't resize as it's photocopied to actual size. Uh, then you're going to be piecing them together because the stocking is quite a bit larger than the pages of our magazine. You'll need to put together the templates, overlapping them to get the shape that you want for the stocking. So that's your base. We're going to be using that template then. We're going to be talking about creating this string pieced stocking. So what I did is take my pattern, lay it on a piece of batting, and I've cut it larger. It talks about at least half an inch larger. There's going to be some shrinkage when you're doing the piecing in this style. So you want it larger. So we're going to put that to the side. Then it tells you to mark along one side of the stocking a certain distance, and then we're going to create that as your angle for the strip piecing. Now here, we've taken some of those two and a half inch strips, and we've cut them narrower. So follow your pattern for the width that you um, create for this. First one goes on right side up, and right near that notch that you marked on your batting. The next one is going to go right side down, like this. And then you're going to create a quarter inch seam allowance right along here. And then you're going to open it up and you'll have those first two pieces in place. You're going to keep in that same mode, opening it all the way out each time. Add the, the third strip so that it is then right side down and open it out. This one's too short, but in that manner, all the way down, and then fill in these, the um, top portion of the stocking. So that you create, got a sample here that's already covered with strips in that same manner. You can see I've just kept stitching along, flipping it out, and opening them up, trying to keep them the same width all the way along so I don't get a bow or a kind of a, a misshapen look there. Now, I've created, covered that entire piece of batting 
Then I took, you can see there's kind of a chalk line all the way around. I've taken my template, laid it, centered it. This is why we made it a little bit larger, the batting. We want to cover that with all the fabric and then go back around and trace that shape. And then you can trim to the exact size. So you will have the top, including your seam allowances there. Then the next step is to be taking, and this for all three stockings you'll do this, take a piece of backing fabric of your choice and you can then um, use some spray adhesive and put it to a piece of batting and quilt it in any manner you'd like. This one I just did a real simple cross hatch, which means to make squares. This one is just simply um, quilted in stri um, stripes. So you've got a front and a back. You're going to cut this out. Then you can lay these right sides together. Once this one's cut out, then you would cut the backing also. So you're using this then as your template to cut both layers. You're going to sew around them and follow the instructions for creating um, the actual body of your Christmas stocking. Now the top piece of the cuff here is created with a simple strip of fabric that is a tube stitched together, then folded in half to create the cuff. So you're going to create that piece. We're just putting together all the pieces of our recipe here. Then you want to make the little hanging tab, which is a fabric um, strip. Follow your instructions for the width on those, and it's just folded like a piece of bias tape almost, stitched on both sides and it'll be inserted into this top seam this way. And the last piece you need to create is the lining to your stocking. And that is created. Put my ingredients for our stocking off to the side. And that is simply two pieces of fabric. We're using that template that we used originally. And we're going to seam a quarter inch seam all the way around. You're going to leave a four inch gap along the lining and then finish out that seam. This will be for your turning. So follow your instructions on how to layer together your Christmas stocking piece, the cuff, the hanging tab, and your lining. And you'll be turning the entire stocking through this hole. Just follow the instructions that we include in our pattern and you will have merry and bright for yourself this Christmas. For more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.